In previous videos, we've been using the standard Xcode interface. You might have made the Cat Years app, and if you haven't yet, there's gonna be a link up here. So go click on that, go make your Cat Years app, and then come back. So the problem with using the standard Xcode interface is that you see everything. You see about uh, items loading, you see metadata, and that gets in the way when you're trying to learn. So to get learning Swift fast without all the hassles, we have got playgrounds. Playgrounds are simple and they are a great way to see what's happening without having to press play and wait five minutes for things to happen. So let's go have a look at Xcode Playgrounds. Here we are with Xcode. It's quite simple. We just go to the top, File, New, then we can say uh, Playground. The Xcode Playgrounds are just like anything else. They open up here and you have a choice of blank, game, map, single view. We're gonna keep it really simple for today and just go for blank, click on next. Gonna give it a name, let's go test playground. Doesn't really matter right now because I've even spelled it wrong, who cares? Create. And what you see is at the very top, it says um, it's loaded and succeeding, that is great. And I can just press play and you'll see that it is running a test playground because that's what we called it. And in a second, there we are, we see the output. It's much faster, it's much cleaner without all the faff of the previous version. Now, if you've been watching along, I'm gonna give you a task, and that is, can you print a message such as hello, or your name, or name of your pet, or anything you like? Get that to print into the records. Pause the video now, and we'll carry on in a second. I guess that you got that one right. If you didn't get it right, look in the comment section or anywhere around this video, you'll see a link to the video showing you how to do it. But you don't need to wait for that because I've got the answer right here. Printing a name is very simple. Just type print, open brackets, then parentheses, and we say whatever we like. So um, my cat, uh, no, my car is blue. Went from a cat to a car. And then just press play and we'll see that we print it into the logs, my car is blue. Now we do have a, a backslash N. That just means a new line. So anything that happens after it will be on a new line. So I'll show you that now. So I'm gonna say again, print, parentheses, and my cat is black and white. See, I got to my cat eventually. Now we're here, just press play, and we'll see, yep, we are on a new line. We can expand this out because it shows a bit. And that is Playgrounds. That is the basics of Playgrounds. So anything you do in the normal coding, you can do at Playgrounds, but Playgrounds are much cleaner. We're gonna be using Playgrounds in the next few lessons, so it's gonna be a great way for you to learn Swift and coding for iOS. Hope to see you there.